The Seoul affair disaster has rocked the public confidence in the Korean government and raised critical questions about just how safe we are as we go about our daily lives. President Park Geun-hye pledged wide-ranging reforms in a televised address on Monday to ensure a similar tragedy never happens again. And the government has already begun the process of making sure the president's words become reality. Arirang News Kim ji yeon reports. The government wasted no time initiating follow-up measures to President Buckingham's package of remedies to ensure another disaster like the Seoho ferry accident does not happen in the future. As her address wrapped Monday, officials led by Presidential Chief of Staff Kim Gi Chun broke President Buck's remedies into five main sectors and 27 measures in total. The main sectors are the restructuring of government, reforming how government officials are appointed, proposing a special law to the National Assembly authorizing the establishment of a fact-finding committee into the ferry disaster, the establishment of a national safety ministry, and the establishment of a monument and a People's Safety Day on April 16th, the day of the ferry disaster. President Abak singled out corruption as the main factor undermining the country's safety standards, saying it created an atmosphere where the ferry could sink and take so many lives with it. Prime Minister Chung Ong Wan called for all out efforts Tuesday to revamp the country's safety management system and root out corruption among public officials. A large number of state run organizations are headed by retired public employees that have worked in firms and organizations related to their former responsibilities. These officials have been described as part of a bureaucratic mafia because of their tendency to have collusive ties with those they were supposed to supervise. Or regulate. According to the state run provider of public information, Alio, 51 out of 153 heads of public organizations, or roughly one third, could be categorized as bureaucratic mafia. President Park is expected to carry out a government reshuffle, including hiring a new prime minister after she returns from a three day trip from the UAE later this week. Kim Jong, Arirang News.